If you're struggling with making poses just like me and trying to find the correct gesture for your character, well, this video is for you because today I'm doing a review about the SFPT 3. <music> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, this is T Rex, Milano T Rex. So, this is the SFPT 3. And as you can tell, it has a lot of joints on it. It's actually 80 joints. And that makes it really configurable in so many ways. Some of you might find the joints to be very stiff, but don't worry about that because by time it becomes loose. Although I don't know how loose it becomes, but I'm just gonna leave that to time so I can actually tell. But so far, I'm very satisfied with the joints movements and the performance of the mannequin overall. The mannequin comes in with a stand in the box and uh, it has two uh, keys here to modify it for the height and also this one for the height actually and this one for the uh, angle on which the mannequin is held. I have also read over the internet that it has a lifetime warranty but I'm not sure about this information because it was not sent to me in the confirmation email with the pre-order. Um, with that, I wouldn't consider it as the case. Uh, let's remove the stand and get on with the positive feedback here. First of all, we have the bicep that is actually moving upwards, you can actually see that it's taken form. I don't think it's very important, but it's just a <laughs> nice thing to have here. Um, also, we have with the head here, you see the eyes, uh, they're actually movable. So, just take out the head, just like so. And then, see that you can you move the eyes. And of course, the eyelids as well. Is it important? Nah, not to my knowledge. You can look at accessories online. Um, you have wigs, different eye colors, and all that. I don't think any of those are very important, but for those who really need those accessories to, um, to kind of facilitate their drawing process uh, with their manga or comics, then by all means get them. But for me, I think they're just uh, a waste of money. But some collect dolls and um, buy accessories for them, so if you do that too, you can uh, buy accessories in that way, it would be an investment. But having this doll as, as collectible actually kind of defeats its purpose, because it's meant to uh, help artists to draw, and uh, I don't know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Last but not least is the breast. They're obviously not in the correct position, but it is one of the only things uh, that was corrected after the uh, second version, which is the SFB2, SFBT2, and that is the movement on the breast, because it used to interfere with the movement of the arm or the hand, but now here you can actually see that it's coming in in place. So yeah, they are, the hand is a lot more uh, movable than it, it was with the second version. Alright, by all means I like this SFBT uh, in so many ways. I like it the way it is, with the positive and negatives it has, um, but uh, I'm sorry sweetheart, but I have to critique you for uh, you know the purpose of this video. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but I have to. Alright, to begin with, um, this is one of the things that really kills me about this mannequin. It's, well, it's the rest. So you can see this space here, and if you keep moving it uh, freely and not paying attention, it comes loose, looser, looser, and in a way it comes off. Um, just like so, and then you have to uh, pick up the, the whole mannequin to put it back in place. I mean, if you put it in a stand, then you take it out of the stand or, you know, kind of interfere with your work. Uh, 
Another thing would be the, uh, the thumb size. It doesn't bother me as much, but it's uh, pretty big for the anatomic ratio, if that makes sense. And then, of course, talking about anatomy, that brings us to the neck, which is very, very, very long. But, I mean, you could compensate for that when you're drawing. It's not of a big deal. Uh, one of the things that you can overcome it. Again, the breasts, of course, uh, they look weird and they're not properly placed. They're way up on, in the, on the torso. And uh, finally, the huge feet. This is just like a big foot, right? She has just big feet. Uh, um, but again, you can compensate for all that. Uh, I would be okay with all of these. But uh, except for the rest, of course, and the backwards bending. Because, I mean, she cannot touch her head with her feet and that's a drag because in certain action poses you want um, exaggeration a little bit and um, that is not achievable um, if it's if it's in, in, in this kind of position or bending backwards it's really hard to achieve with this mannequin however doing it forward is actually very nicely made I mean look at that Look at this bending movement. Look at this. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so yeah, overall, I'm in love with this mannequin. It's just great, perfect, amazing. Well, not perfect, but amazing in so many ways. Close to perfect that it satisfies me enough. Um, just being repetitive here. And this is the website where you um, can buy SFBT, but for for some reason, for now, when I uh, present the shopping cart, I don't see the mannequin available. For some reason, are they gonna put it back? Are they changing the website? Are they stopping uh, manufacturing it? I'm, I'm, I don't know, to be honest. I tried to look, and uh, the, it is nowhere to be found. Um, but I have also looked up other mannequins which are uh, closely related to this one um, in terms of movement and. Uh, uh, configuration and I found uh, a couple of ones but this one really caught my attention it's um well the smaller model is a lot cheaper than the bigger one but they're almost well it's cheaper but all still expensive a little bit of course a lot more expensive than the wooden figure um, the useless one you know this thing is pretty much configurable it can bend everywhere everything that is anatomically possible um, well, it doesn't look as pretty as the SFPT3 uh, in terms of anatomy and all that because you didn't have the muscles, you didn't have the shapes, you didn't have any of that and if you're not good with anatomy then you're gonna find a little bit hard time with this one. So if you want anatomic, anatomical visual assistant, uh, in that case you can use the SFPT. And of course once you get the... Um, once you place your order, then you're gonna get an email like this one, and then uh, um, it's about three forty-seven dollars. That would be a thousand three hundred and one point twenty-five real Saudi. A lot. I've heard it a lot and read it a lot. That it looks scary. I mean, look at her. Does she look scary? I'm not. I'm not sure about that, but she looks pretty to me. Yo, look. It's it's just winking. She's winking. And yeah, if you think she looks scary, you probably want to look uh, look up something else because I gotta tell you, she moves at night. Alright guys, if you want me to post videos of um, the SFPT with a couple of poses, um, reference from the manga, from and, and put them into categories, um, action, female poses, and cute poses, and then, you know, dancing poses and all that, please let me know in the comment section below. And um, with this... Guess I'm done. Alright guys, stay tuned.